Hey everyone, I'm your host Ray Ireland and you are listening to the Soul Align Podcast where we help high achieving leaders and driven visionaries do what you love and live your purpose today. So welcome to this episode where we're going to be talking about transformational education and the five steps to growing as a leader in this space. So transformational education is definitely taking over. I'm sure you're aware of this. You know, people are interested in learning how to grow and how to, you know, become the best version of themselves, how to really take ownership of their lives, um, which is also what leads them into becoming entrepreneurs, right? You're probably here because you already are an entrepreneur. You're looking to scale your business or you have a dream of becoming one day an entrepreneur and taking over um, you know, your, the creative energy and creative power of creating your own business. So transformational education really is the core of everything. When we can be in a place where we're like, yeah, like I'm a student of life. This is such a fun way to be, you know, like that way you're continuously learning, continuously growing. And leadership is a natural role for evolution, right? If you look at even just like the animal kingdom, like there's always leaders that are, you know, paving the way forward. It doesn't mean that there can only be a certain amount of leaders. You know, everyone is a leader in their own right, whether you're leading your business or leading your family or leading your community on a journey forward. So, Step number one, when we're talking about transformational education and steps to grow as a leader, step, step number one is to really just surrender to your own personal transformation. You know, no one wants to hear from the guru that hasn't been in it, been through it, right? It's like someone that's like, oh, let me show you how to cut your cut hair. This is the best way to cut hair. But then you look at them and they're they're bald and they've actually never cut hair. Like there's there's a gap, right? There's a misunderstanding. You see this a lot in the coaching industry because the coaching industry isn't regulated. I actually support that it's not regulated because it doesn't actually need to be. The coaching industry can be based off of results, right? The results that someone personally gets and say they're amazing at, you know, cooking the best pizza in the world. Well, you know, no one's gonna wanna actually learn unless it actually is the best. So there's kind of this uh, deeper sense of truth and integrity that needs to be had. Um, and the fluff doesn't really work anyways because people want results, right? We wanna see what's happening. So step one is really to just be in that full surrender of, okay, I'm in my transformational journey. I'm here, I'm experiencing it, and I'm gonna go into it. Step number two is to be really open to receive support and help you like really step into whatever you're going through. So maybe that's stepping into the next version of yourself or stepping into, okay, I'm going to do this new launch and like put a new part of my business out into the world. It's so important to have this support because sometimes we have blind spots. And if you're in your transformation, you're in your process, the thing is your thinking got you to where you are which is great, right? Awesome place to be for some, maybe not so awesome for others, but either way, your thinking, like your best problem solving has still gotten you to where you are. So looking and getting and receiving support from the outside will actually help give new perspectives so that way you can take new actions and also see new results. Step number three is to really share your journey with others. This is authentic, vulnerable communication. I don't believe that everyone needs to be sharing all of the personal details and the stories and here and there. But when someone, when say a leader goes through a personal transformation and they they receive wisdom from it, it is actually your responsibility to take that action to share that with others, to pass it forward, to be in that giving space of, you know, giving your attention, giving your wisdom, giving your your stories, your experience to others so that way you can support them in their journey. That doesn't mean that you have to, you know, control what others are doing. Everyone has their own choice and free will. Um, but I find like 
you know, we're all here, we're all supporting one another, and we're also all giving each other clues and hints as to what are the possibilities. And then from there you get to choose. So as a leader, it is very, very important to be sharing your journey, sharing your story along the way. And, you know, we also do see a lot of storytelling, which it's more of just like, look at my ego and look at the numbers and these sort of things. You, you see it all the time in marketing. And so I really think it's important that in transformational education and in these steps of growing yourself as a leader, the more authentic you can be, the more integrity you will hold, the more power your words will have. And also when you're calling something in, um, say you're doing your business, when you are in integrity, then when someone comes to you, you know that you can stand for them and really deliver upon what you shared. Step number four is to hold space then for others that are um, going through things, to hold space and lead the way. And so I kind of have this vision in my mind, I've always had it where I'm, you know, I'm in my experience, I'm in my life's journey and all of that. And I'm going like this, like I need some help and I reach out and I grab one of my mentor's hands or one of my inspirations or coach's hands. And I say, hey, can you just like, like just give me a little pull up this way, right? And it's so helpful. And so while I'm doing that, why would I not say, hey, I got a hand here. Let me Let me extend this out to you you want to get to where I am? Here, here, let me just give you that little extra pull. And so this is how we really can come together. Like this is true unity is when we are able to both receive wisdom and support, but also give it. And I think it can actually happen simultaneously, which is something that I know scares a lot of people, <laughs> right? Sometimes it's like, I don't have my stuff together. I'm not ready yet. I'm not where I want to be yet. Well, do you ever think you'll really be where you want to be? Like there's always going to be that next level, you know, and to like enlightenment. And then you're hanging out with Buddha and Jesus, right? And then who knows what happens then, but there's always going to be more growth and more new steps coming. So may as well help the others that are also in their experience in their own journey and need that extra support to take that next step. So I'll share step number five. This is the last one. Step number five is go back to number one <laughs> because there's nothing else to do besides going in and doing the inner work yourself, transforming your life, whatever that is. There, you know, I really have a hard time believing that anyone's life is totally perfect. So I think at times in the beginning of your transformational educational journey, it might feel like there's a lot more that's out of alignment that it's like can be overwhelming and I think in some cases it can actually help someone or it causes someone to freeze or feel totally stuck because they don't know which direction to choose everything feels off it's just like that's what you call rock bottom right so once you kind of get through some of these first big chunks you'll start to see that like wow like there's a lot of areas of my life that I actually love now. Like they do feel aligned and well, here are the weak spots, right? And so you can always go back to number one and just dive back into the surrender of your own transformational journey and really just letting go of control, taking that next step in the human evolution and really just trusting that, you know, this was given to you for a reason, this exact experience, this exact heartbreak or, you know, um, trigger, whatever it is, it's here for you to learn, to grow, to take that next step. And then again, reach your hand out and say, all right, come on, you got it. Come join me. And the beautiful journey continues. It definitely is cyclical when we're looking at transformational education, which is why I think it's so beautiful. There's not an end point. You don't get to college and you're done. You don't become a professor and you're done. It's human evolution at its finest. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, definitely check out the other videos. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't yet. And I will see you on one of the next videos.